In this video, we'll be taking a look at viewer submissions, real stories that our viewers have experienced and cannot explain. So from an uninvited wedding guest to a vision of murder, here are five scary images, videos, and creepy encounters that have never been seen before. As always, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Uninvited Wedding Guest This old photograph was sent in by a long-time viewer of the channel called Philip. The photograph is of his aunt Caroline's wedding service in the year 1984 at her local church in County Limerick, Ireland. It shows his aunt being walked down the aisle by her father, Philip's grandfather. But if you look in the top right window in the left pane, just above them, there appears to be an uninvited wedding guest. The photo was taken by Philip's great aunt, Pauline, but no one noticed the anomaly until 2010. After seeing the figure, Aunt Caroline was so spooked, she visited a medium, and they believed it was the spirit of Caroline's grandmother, who passed away a few weeks before the wedding. She also had the photo and the original negative checked for any signs of tampering, but there was no explanation for the anomaly. Caroline has said she doesn't feel like it was a bad omen or anything. After all, it was the happiest day of her life, and she is still happily married all these years later. However, she has always felt like someone or something is watching over her. It's worth pointing out that at the time the photo was taken, the church had nothing outside those windows, and there was only a very small window still outside with a sheer drop below, and there were no bells, lamps, or lights that could cause a reflection. So what do you think it was? Creepy face in photo. Cindy lives in a small town in between Manchester and Liverpool called St. Helens, and this is the story of her experience growing up in a childhood home. It was a creepy house in an area known as Clockface, and it always had an uncomfortable vibe to it. Cindy experienced many odd things, including scratchings on the walls, her cat freaking out over nothing, as well as other unexplained phenomena. Before the family moved into the home, it belonged to an old man who had recently passed away, and as soon as they moved in, Cindy's parents could smell cigarette smoke coming from downstairs at odd times of the day when neither of them smoked, and they believed this was linked to the old man that lived there previously. However, one incident stood out and still scares Cindy to this day. It was the first time she was left alone in the house. She was excited but slightly paranoid. As she took a shower, she could hear laughing and keys jangling. Thinking it was her mum and brother trying to get in, she looked out the window but couldn't see her mother's car. So she got out of the shower and looked down over the banister. Cindy was shocked to see the keys to her front door on the floor. In a panic, Cindy locked herself in the living room and phoned her mum crying. Not long after, Cindy was laying on her bed and took a photo of herself. Her bedroom was directly above the living room with a connecting chimney breast. Cindy 100% believes there was something in the chimney breast as all the strange activities seemed to happen near it. When she looked back at the photo, she noticed a creepy looking face on the wall next to her foot, which just happened to be the chimney breast. What do you think? Spawn Street Ghost Medieval Spawn Street in Coventry, UK has a long history of paranormal activity. Over the years, businesses in the area have reported tales of strange knocking noises being touched by unseen hands and mysterious footsteps. And on one occasion, one business owner found four of his sewing machines turning on and off by themselves. The Ostler's restaurant on the street also claims to have had regular visits from a ghost, which they named George, who was blamed for stock flying from shelves, glasses being smashed, and stones being thrown at customers. A witness at the restaurant also claimed to have seen the ghost of a woman at the top of a flight of stairs. Possibly the same apparition was spotted by Mr. Gibbons, who at the time was a miner at Coventry Colliery and also an amateur artist. He was exhibiting paintings of the 1984 and 1985 miner strike at the Picture Gallery at 167 Spawn Street, when he recalls seeing the figure of a woman come up the stairs to the gallery and turn at the top before disappearing through a wall. The description of the ghost matched that scene in Osler's restaurant. Later, the picture gallery was turned into an art supply shop and the new owners all experienced stock moving and pictures being moved. The new owner 
claimed to know when the ghost was present because she could smell evening in Paris, a perfume popular in the first half of the century. After researching the story of Spon Street, we were intrigued when Clark sent us this photo that his wife took about three years ago when she was photographing buildings for her university art project. Take a look. Clark's wife didn't see the figure in the photo until after she was looking back at them the day later. Nowadays, Spawn Street's old buildings have been remodeled, but reports of ghostly goings on have still continued. So was this the apparition of a ghost, or is there another explanation? What do you think? Never dabble with the spirit world. This story was sent in by a viewer who wants to remain anonymous, so we'll call her Sue. In 2013, Sue lost her daughter after a full term stillbirth. Understandably, she was absolutely distraught and desperate to know her daughter was okay and safe in the afterlife. Sue prayed for answers but could find no comfort. So she decided to try and contact a relative who had passed. Sue used various methods to try and contact the spirit world, including a spirit board, chanting and seances, and even offered up her own blood as a sacrifice. However, in her desperate quest to find answers about whether her daughter was okay and safe in heaven, she inadvertently invited evil into her life, and instead of getting the peace she sought after, her life turned into a nightmare that is still ongoing to this day. In 2016, after a year of terror, that included her clock always being struck at 3am in the morning, even with new batteries, unexplained knocking, photos being thrown, pictures coming off of her walls and ending up on the other side of the room, despite the hook still being in the wall, and sleep paralysis almost every other night. Sue also started being physically attacked. She was constantly being scratched, having her hair pulled, and being pushed, and even though she had recently moved, things hadn't gotten any better. Just take a look at this one photo of scratches she received. Sue is still terrified, and doesn't know what she has invited into her life, and wanted to share her story as a warning, not to dabble in the spirit world because nothing good will come of it. Box Hill Murder A has always been extremely sensitive to the world of spirits, and back even before this incident, she had foreseen the death of her best friend. In 1992, A was a teenager, and like all teenagers had an argument with her mum, and left the house in a huff. She met up with her then boyfriend who had a car, and they decided to drive to Box Hill for peace and quiet. Box Hill is an area of outstanding beauty in North Downs in Surrey, UK. The drive there was fine, but after entering the Box Hill area, the weather started to change. Thunder clouds rolled above them, and to make matters worse, the car suddenly started to play up. They ended up pulling into a car park where there was a pub to call for help. Within an hour, a man came out to look at the car and couldn't find a problem, and the car seemed to spring back to life. So they continued to drive to a spot on Box Hill. Once they parked up, they started to talk about the weather as the clouds were becoming darker and darker and lightning started to streak the sky. During this time, A was aware clairvoyantly that her best friend came through spiritually smiling at her. She shook this off and her and her then boyfriend started to kiss when suddenly there was a bang on the side of the car. It made them both jump and it sounded like someone was punching the side of the door. Freaked out, they decided they should drive somewhere else. And as they drove off, they both looked around to see if they could see anyone, but no one was there. As they drove to another spot, thunder was clapping above their heads with streaks of lightning coming closer and closer. By this point, A was completely freaked out and called on her best friend from the world of spirit to protect her, as she knew the banging on the door earlier was a bad omen. As she prayed clairvoyantly to the spirit world, she saw a man with dark hair who started to laugh at her and mock her for praying. He told her his name was Daniel, Danny for short. A then felt the sensation of being stabbed. Her boyfriend also said he was getting a strange sensation too, and admitted that every time he looked in his rearview mirror, he seen someone else's eyes in place of his own, and he wanted to murder her. At this point, they both decided to go back home, as things were getting too weird. Fast forward to 2003, A and her then husband experienced the same thudding on the roof of the car, just like in Box Hill all those years ago. A saw blood everywhere and started seeing a person called Daniel and a rubbish bin. She brushed it off again. 
Then in late 2004, A's father's neighbor suddenly disappeared. Later, his body was found in Box Hill and his name was Dennis Bates. A's dad told the police a strange man knocked on his door saying that Dennis was in trouble and was laying low. The man was later arrested and charged with Dennis's murder. That man's name was Denny or Daniel Riley and Dennis's body was found in rubbish bins. So that's five scary images, videos and creepy encounters sent in by our viewers. We hope you've enjoyed these never before seen or heard stories. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.